okay uh, like this we will get the output of the word count so once we uh, once we, uh, we uh, like this we can write the big uh, big comments in the uh, gun cell so once we executed the dump or the store then only the map reduce job will submit to the the uh, job tracker so here if you see we uh, we execute a lot of uh, quick scripts we yesterday we executed a lot of quick scripts so once we uh, executed uh, this dump or store command then automatically uh, we, we it will be submit as a map ready job so it will be uh, either it will be map job or map ready job it will be depend on the pig framework will convert uh, automatically uh, if if we need any group by kind of operations it will convert as map ready if only it will it will only we we are going to fetch the data then it will convert as map only job framework will uh, take care about that one so like this we can submit pig uh, script also we can submit so whatever the statements are there it will execute uh, it will execute step by step and final re uh, result uh, we it will be stored into the this uh, whatever path it's a fast path we are specifying it will be stored go through yesterday so like this we can write the pig script so whatever these statements we needed uh, we can we can load the input data then we can split as a words then we can group by word then we can count the words and whatever the output is there this final relation we will be stored into the final hdfs path we will store like this we can write this script file okay uh, same way we will go through one more example wiki data so how we can uh, process the wiki data we will see that one i have sample data and four records so in user three wiki one for uh, path in hdfs so I'm going to split. Uh, I, uh, I'm loading this file, and I'm going to fetch the uh, corresponding uh, values. So from this, uh, finally, I'm going to uh, which project we, uh, corresponding English project how many records are there? So like like that, like that, uh, we can analyze the data. Okay, uh, we'll see that one. So we are going to load the sample data. So this uh, sorry this wiki data we are going to load. So this data we are separating delimiter we are giving as a space and what are the fields are there like this we need to specify the fields. How we are specifying the uh, column names in the hive. So same way we will give the uh, different fields name no? we will give like page name, project name, page name, page count and page size. So whatever uh, this data, these four fields we are uh, loading by comma separated. So I am going to load the wiki data. So by using space separated and these are the four uh, columns, project name, page name and the page count. 
So then we will go through other statements. So I am going to filter the records by using only uh, EM project, only English project uh, records only I want. So then I am going to filter. So this is like a where condition in I. So whatever the relation is there, on, on previous relation, I will perform the other operations like filter, group by. So I, I need to perform. So then we will go through the group record. So like this, if you want, we can uh, execute one by one by line, or the uh, we can execute the uh, as a big script also we can execute. If you want, we can apply the sorted by also we can apply. So finally I'm going to store. Okay, uh, before going to uh, execute that command, you'll see, so like this, I submitted different uh, statements in the gun cell. So if you want to uh, submit uh, in gun cell, we need to, one by one by line, we need to uh, uh, submit. So this each relation will be uh, link uh, will be depend on the previous relations so like this so first relation is the, this one records okay uh, this is the first relation so here only I'm going to load the data so whatever the data is there it will be in the uh, this records relation so we will go through this uh, relation what are the things is there so here if you check the describe records in this records we will have the this whatever the fields are there so those fields name we will have like this like this if you go through the other uh, filter records you can check the uh, what are the fields or what are the uh, data is there so we can check by using describe so here if you check it so this is pointed to the filter record also point to, to the whatever the uh, data is there so that is pointed to the this one so finally if you uh, describe if you see the sorted underscore result we'll see what, what data it will be there we'll see so like this you can see the so this is the uh, data this data only group and the uh, count whatever the uh, operations uh, I think here we are uh, grouping the data by using the page name so here we'll have the page name comma uh, count will be there in the here so these two fields will be in the sorted underscore result so like this we'll have the uh, like this we can see the each relation what are the information is there so basically first relation what we're doing is we are loading the uh, this data to the, this uh, relation so this relation uh, on 
this records relation I am going to filter the data by using this condition. If project name equals EN then only uh, the data will be pointed to this filter underscore record. Then we are I am going to group by using page name. So on this grouped records I am going to perform some other operations like some. Uh, later this result I am going to perform on the so like this we are uh, having maintaining the relation uh, temporarily this each relation data it will be while, while executing the program only uh, temporarily this uh, data will be stored into disk so once the, uh, the script is completed so uh, all data, uh, all relations data, it will be deleted. So temporarily, it will be stored into a bit. And these relations also, will, uh, this relation details it will be stored into memory, but data will be stored into the uh, disk. So each relation data will temporarily it will store into disk. Once the uh, this uh, pick script is completed, then every uh, all relation data it will be deleted. Okay, uh, we'll have one more command called explain. So what it will do means, it will so if you give the explain and the relation name, so it will show the how the this uh, flow will be executed. So first it will uh, sort a list. It will be depend on the uh, internally it will depend on the group, uh, group. So how it will be depend. So that flow it will be uh, explained here. So sort a uh, result to result. Then groups. Then filter records. So how it will each relation how it will be executed. So what are the fields will involve. So all this flow will be explained, physical plan and how the data will be fetched. So internally what are the fields are involved. So full flow we can see, MapReduce this plan also we can see like this. If you give the explain, so you will get the uh, like this, uh, where the combined plan will be there, where the reducer plan will be there, so where the short plan will be there. So the, Every details will be given by the explain uh, explain uh, keyword. So if you give the explain and the this relation name, so then it will give the all the delay uh, relay uh, all the details of the uh, map plan, reducer plan, how the short and how the full global plan. Uh, each relation how it will be depend to other relation. So uh, all details will be uh, dependent that one. So by using explain command so we can see the details. So like this uh, we can write the each uh, each statement uh, like uh, first we load the data so then we will if you want we can perform the filter operations if you want we can perform the group operations then if you want to see the details about the each relation we can see by using describe and also explain also uh, we can see the full how the how the uh, particular relation how it is going to execute it what is the map plan reducer plan those details we can see it so once the uh, uh, then if you want to store or if you want to just if you want to see the uh, uh, what output of the each relation either you can run as a dump dump it will be display the output on the console. So instead of that if you want to store the output to the particular HDFS directory then we will use the store command. So I am going to store the this uh, result into the this folder. So we key underscore key underscore output. So I am going to store the uh, result into this path. So once you submitted dump or store, then only uh, this all the uh, statement will be executed as a MapReduce program and whatever the plan we, we saw, so that plan will execute it. So 
it will submit as a MapReady job. So same like MapReady job, you can see the counters information. You can see how many records are there, how many records will input records and output records. MapReady uh, reducer input records, output records. You can see. So like this it will be converted as MapReady job and it will execute one by one statement it will execute. I, I think in job tracker if you want we can see the uh, what are the relations are involved. You can see okay uh, it is completed. So once we completed we will get the success status and here we will get the how many bytes written and how many records written. So I think if you observe the input so we have the only two records with the EN matching with the EN. So that's why only we got two records here. So here total records uh, we got two only. Here we can see the what are, what is the input and what is output also here we can see. It's stored in the wiki underscore wiki underscore output. So okay, I given user Srini instead of user Srini. So we'll check in that folder. Title we can copy and paste here. Okay. So like this, whatever the fields uh, we are trying, so like this we'll get. So like this we'll get the whatever the fields we want, we can analyze like this. Okay. This is how we can uh, submit uh, the each line to the pick and each statement uh, to the pick. So like this we can, uh, whatever the data we want to analyze, we need to write the different uh, filter and group by and the sorted and limit if you want, limit like this we can write it and finally if you want to store, we can store it or if you want to uh, display the result in the console or terminal, so we can use the dump command. So similar way we can uh, write the pick scripts also, we can write it. So whatever the commands we executed uh, in each uh, individually, so we can execute as a uh, script file also we can execute. So for that we can um, go through the this path home training pick script. Here we have the pick scripts. So we can see we can see okay. So like this, whatever the commands we executed, so we can uh, copy to one file and we can name it as a dot pick and we can run the, if you want to run the uh, pick uh, script, so we need to run the pig space, whatever the file name, uh, pig uh, script file name we need to give wiki dot pick. Like this, we need to execute the uh, pig scripts. So uh, here in pick also we have the predefined uh, function, so like count, sum, so minimum, maximum and whatever operations we, can't, we want to perform, uh, substring or the other operations also if you want we can perform. Okay, uh, now we will see one more example uh, like this wiki data, we are going to see the uh, how we can get the uh, access logs. Uh, how we can analyze the logs and how we can get the difference day wise or month wise data. How we can get, we will see. Uh, we saw the, uh, we practiced examples in MapReduce and Hive. 
related this data how we can get the uh, how we can process the logs and how we can get, uh, get the month wise data and our uh, day wise data hour wise data so similar way how we can do in pick we will see so we have data in this path access log data we have in So we have this uh, data. So uh, last classes while explaining how you uh, explain how we can process the data with the how you on my produce also we saw. So similar way how we can process the same data with the pick we will see that one. So here the all the data is separated by the space. So while loading the data. I uh, am going to. So first I will load the data without any fields, without uh, having any fields. First I am going to write the statement. So I will execute all the statements at a time. So here what I what I am going to do means uh, without specifying the field name so I am going to separate the data by using the space. So here I will get the uh, this is the relation data. So on this relation I am going to uh, first I am going to get only uh, 10 records. So that's why I am going to limit the data. So first I will print this data limited data what we will get. So I am going to submit uh, this relation, thump underscore limited data. Then we will go through the other uh, other relations we will go through. So first I loaded the uh, data without specifying the field names and I am going to print the first 10 records. So if you want to limit the data, we need to use the limit keyword. We will. Oh, uh, I'm going to print only ten records. So I'm uh, I'm getting only ten records. So similar way, we how we can get the uh, so here why we got the only first record means I think I already submitted all the records. So that's why only uh, we got the only first record. So here if you observe, so here we uh, loaded the data by using the space separated and first uh, I got only, I uh, am trying to print all the fields with the limited data 10. So then uh, I applied the uh, this one first column. So here dollar zero means we will get the whatever the first field is there, we will get the that, uh, that data. So that's why only while I am printing the limited data we got only IP address. So 10 uh, records we got the IP address. So instead of that I am going to uh, print the all the columns with the uh, first 10 records I am going to print it. So for that one I am changing the this uh, relation name limited data 1 and I am going to Print. So limited data one. So instead of printing the one uh, first field, I am going to print the all the all other fields with limiting the only ten records.
so like this uh, without uh, without specifying the fields also uh, we can we can load the data so this this is the output so we got the all the fields here if you observe each field is separated by the comma so this is the this one is the each line is the tuple so output will get like this so we got the 10 lines so each output it will be one tuple so one tuple will have the different fields so this is the first field and this is the second field second and third fields are empty so this is the fourth field so like this we will get the uh, different fields so now I am going to uh, see only uh, fourth field then we need to I need to call dollar three means it will point to the fourth field data. Okay, I think it's pending. Okay, then I'm going to print the values in console. So limited data. So whatever the latest uh, value in the relation, so that value only it will try to execute. Whatever the uh, this. Uh, command is there so that command only it will be executed so old one will be overwrite with the new one so now I am going to print the fourth uh, field values so like this uh, we can uh, we can fetch the values without field names also by using index also we, if you want we can fetch the values so instead of that one for uh, naming conventions if you want we can provide the uh, you can load the data by using the field names also. We will see next example how we can load the uh, data with the fields. So this is the fourth field, date field. So like this we will get the whatever the field we want we can get the data by using the this uh, index we will get the index so like dollar zero dollar one dollar two it will point to the uh, particular field index it will point and we can if you want we can fetch the data okay uh, now I am going to load the data instead of the uh, without fields I am going to load the data with, with fields so we can specify the whatever the fields we want we can specify the field names also we can specify same data I'm going to load with the uh, this, uh, space separated and uh, I given uh, different fields IP user empty field and log underscore date seconds request type page name so here I given uh, different fields so instead of getting the by using index directly we can get the data by using the name we can get the name so if you uh, will check that one we'll get the space names so I'm going to get the uh, first 10 page names so that's why I'm going to uh, give the page underscore name minute by this index wrong. okay like this we can uh, whatever the field we want by using field name we will fetch the data so now if you want to describe this one describe page underscore name 
so we we have only one field so if you describe the the full data we want to see the logs underscore data relation so all all fields will be there in the this relation logs underscore data from that i am going to get the only page name so for this relation i have the only that page name so now i am going to limit uh, this data for that i am going to give limit page underscore names okay now i am going to execute uh, this limited data can give any name now i am going to print the uh, first 10 pages names so like this whatever the operations we want to perform so if you want to get the uh, first uh, 10 ips then we, we we access by using the uh, ip so like this, if you want to get the dates, we can get the log underscore date. Like this, whatever the data, if you want, we can uh, print like this. So finally, if you want to see the data, so then we can use the dump. If you want to store, we can use the store command. Okay, this, this is the output. So we print only... Uh, only a uh, page name so like this we'll get the page name as each triple uh, we'll get the values so if you have the multiple values so we'll get uh, we'll get the tuple as a comma separated values we'll get the uh, different values in a each triple so this is uh, how we can get the different fields data how we can print and if you want to see the relation whatever the fields are there in the relation we can see by using describe so next, uh, I'm going to get the, uh, if you want to get the month or if you want to get the data, uh, date, how we can get from uh, that information, we'll see. So now I'm going to get the uh, IP comma month. So how we can get, we'll see that one. So here I am going to get the IP comma month from the log underscore date. So in log underscore date we will have the so this information. So from this information log underscore date I am going to get the month. So how we can get means by using uh, this one similar way like high but here index will be changed. Here we need to pass the what is starting index and what is the ending index so by this index we will get the uh, month whatever the month we want we will get the month we will print this data So like this we, we can uh, get the month and if you want the date we can get the similar way we can get the date also. So by using the uh, some other uh, so if you want to get the date we need to use the this is the starting index and uh, ending index for the date. So from this one, we will go through the what is starting index and what is the ending index. Like that, like this month also, we will go through the what is the starting index and what is the uh, end, end, uh, ending index. So from that, we will get the uh, whatever the, if you want to year, we will get the year. If you want to month, we, we can get the month. If you want to uh, date, we can get the date. Like this, uh, whatever the operation, uh, whatever the fields, we, uh, we, uh, we, whatever the data we want, we can extract the data. So here if you observe, so 
Once the program is executed, we will get the IP and the whatever the month is there, so we will get the month. So like this, we, if we want uh, whatever the data we want, we will we'll get the uh, data. So similar way, we can do it for the day also, we can do it. Similar way, if you want to get a day, you will get the uh, day also. Instead of running uh, this individual command, so we can uh, we can write into one script file. So month data, if you want, we can uh, store into uh, one uh, one output folder. If you want to store the uh, each day output, we can. If you want to store, we can store into some other folder. So like that, whatever the data we want, we can simply store into the each relation data. Uh, we can store into the different fo uh, folders. We can store. So here if you observe, we got the date. I think for all the first fields, we have the same date. So that's why we got the 8 as a, uh, for the first time record, we got the day as a 8. So now I'm going to uh, uh, perform the count. So month and uh, month-wise count. So how many records for the each month I'm, I'm going to... Uh, how many hits for the each day, uh, each month I am going to find. So what information I am going to find means this information. So for each month how many hits are there. So that information I am going to find. How we can do means first we will get the uh, month field. So from that I am going to group based on the month. So if you want to give the name we need to give like this. We, uh, we can give we can give the name as month then I'm going to uh, group by month field then I'm going to count the uh, I'm going to get each word and I'm going to count the word so then I'm going to print the uh, 10 months only 10 months information I'm going to print Instead of printing the console, we can store the, this month information. If you want, we can uh, store into any HDFS path by using store command also. We can do it. So like this, uh, we can get the, uh, we can, uh, whatever the, how many uh, hits for the each month, we can calculate. So similar way, we can, uh, we can get the each month data. So April, August, December, February, January, this is uh, order, uh, we got the data. So like this, uh, if you want to see the data, we can see uh, in terminal, or if you want to store the, 
this analyzed data so we can uh, store into any hdfs file so finally this data this information if you want to show as a report we can move to the uh, any mysql tables by using scoop if you want we can move it so we can show as a report if you want to show we can uh, show this is the how we can analyze the data and how we can store into hdfs so once we have the analyzed data in hdfs later we can uh, different ways we can uh, use the this uh, data so we, we can use this this data in how again we can if you want we can use or if we want to uh, uh, use, uh, if we want, we can move this data to the uh, RDMS table. We can move it and we can use as the report. So here, here instead of uh, here, uh, where we we'll use uh, this pick. So if we want to use any MapReduce program, if you want to write any MapReduce program, so uh, uh, apart from the Hive, so we can uh, execute as a pick scripts. So internal it will convert as a map to job and it will give the whatever the data we want. So if here we will get the data as a comma separated. This data will move to the any high value if we want. We can move to the other thing. So like this, uh, we, we will analyze the data by using the pick. So whatever the information, whatever the data if you want to analyze, we will analyze the data. So if you want to store, we can store it. Likewise, uh, if you want to get the uh, page names, page wise result also we can perform. We will get the uh, group by page and page wise, page wise count also we will get. So finally we can print the page wise. And if you want to sort, uh, we can sort by ascending or descending order we can sort. If you want limit, we can limit the data. So like this, uh, we can uh, do the uh, different operations. We can do group by filter, order by limit. So like this, we can whatever the uh, how uh, we are going to analyze the data. We can write the uh, what steps uh, in the pick scripts, and we can execute the all the steps. Okay, this is how we can analyze the data with uh, pick. So. If you want to practice, uh, if you want to get more uh, details and theoretically. We'll see. We'll have the document called uh, this uh, Cloudera High One Pick uh, Training dot PDF. So I think this PDF I already shared. So we'll go through uh, this uh, PDF. I think here we'll get the more details uh, theoretically, and we, uh, for practice also we'll have more commands, uh, uh, more examples we'll have. So we'll go through this uh, material also. So this is how the data flow is the pick uh, data flow. So like this, we'll write the different uh, keywords. So finally, it will do parses, checking, optimizers, plan, execution. So pick tool will take care about all these things. Internally, it will interact with the Hadoop data by using map or the reducer wheel. Uh, filter wheel is the only map. If you want to count or if you want to sum, then we'll go for the reduce. So like this, it will uh, execute. Uh, Pick flow would be like this. So I think we already discussed about these things. How we are going to configure and install the pick. So directly you can go to the uh, our VM where mission and we can execute the pick. So previously I discussed about we have the two modes: local mode and uh, we can reduce as a uh, distributed mode or the ma uh, map reduce mode. So uh, this is the if you want to run in local mode, we won't interact with the HDFS data. We'll interact with only local data. Uh, normal files will interact instead of the HDFS files. So for that, we need to use the pig hyphen, uh, pig space hyphen x space local. Directly, if you want to execute as a MapReduce program, I think till now we, uh, this one, pig, uh, directly you can enter the pig and we can execute. Uh, we can enter into MapReduce. Or, this way also we can enter into the HDFS mode, we can enter. So how we can access the PIG? Uh, this also we discussed later, uh, previous, uh, yesterday class we discussed. So interactive mode means, uh, till now we are interacting with the grunt cell. If you want, we can interact with the grunt cell 
means uh, we will copy the statements and we can uh, execute in the grand cell instead of that one we can run the uh, pig script by using the pig space pig script we can execute so similar way we can write the like JDBC like we can write the Java classes also we can write and we can execute and we can execute uh, I think in Eclipse also I think we have a plugin called pigpen so by using that uh, plugin also we can execute the uh, this uh, pig programs we can execute these are the different ways how we can access the pig so interactive versus batch means interactive versus means we will write the each command in the cell instead of that one batch means we will write the all the commands in the uh, pick and we will execute at a time so these are the different uh, uh, options for the pick help pick version you can check it go through these documents I think you can able to practice the all the commands uh, if you want we can uh, uh, execute the HFS commands also we can execute in the given other commands inside the uh, grunt cell also we can execute the pig scripts this is about the uh, you can go through uh, these points you can get the more details on pig server how you can uh, submit the uh, pig commands by using the java uh, we can we can do we can execute from java also like this we can execute So how you can load the data? Uh, this is the different storages. I think till now uh, we discussed about pig storages. Like that we will have the lot of storages, binary data, text loader, pig dump. So we will have the different storages. If you want to load the data from the other data sources, if you want to load the data from the HBase or Cassandra, other databases also, uh, we can load the data. By using we have the different storages. So by using this one we can load the uh, uh, different uh, formats data we can load it so this is how we can load the uh, data by using pig storage by using text loader also we can load the data so these are the information about the bags you can go through and you can check it what is the pig tubules and bags will be there You can go through uh, different how you can load the data by using the different fields and defining the fields. So adding data types, how we can add the data types. So all these things we discussed. So if you want to practice, you can go through this material. These are the different data types: int, long, float. These are the uh, I think uh, common data types. And uh, these are the three new data types: tuple, bag, and the map. We already discussed about this one. So tuple means comma separated like this will be there bag will be ordered collection uh, this is the collection of uh, tuples we will call it as a bag and map is the key value page so these are the different uh, how we can load the data how we can come so this is the describe or the explain or the illustrate these are the different commands so how we can uh, how if you want to see the details about the each relation, you can go through describe and also explain and also illustrate. So it will give the details about the uh, data type, how much size. So all the details it will be it will give. So these are the uh, few more describe and illustrate are the other uh, few more uh, keywords for viewing the schema of the particular relation. So how we can uh, dump the data? This is uh, we already saw this one. We want to store the uh, data to the particular directory. How we can uh, store the data into? By using the store command, we can store the data. If we want to practice uh, that uh, word code example, wiki example, you can go through the Amazon experience a book, uh, and also. Uh, we have the examples. Uh, I will share this file also. You can go through this thing. You can practice some access log data also. If you want, you can practice. So in this material also, we'll have the some uh, keywords to practice. You can go through this material. 
I think I have a question from the Ramesh. Can we directly load data into RDMS using pig load? No, no, no. We can't load uh, data into RDMS uh, by using pig load. So pig load means we can whatever the input data in HDFS we can load into uh, as a relations. If you want to load the data as relations, then only we'll use the pig load. We can't load the data. Yes, yes. By scoop only we can uh, uh, move the HDFS data to the uh, RDMS. We can load it. And if you want to uh, load the RDMS data to the HDFS, then we can do uh, we, uh, that also we can do by using scoop. Okay. These are the different operations we can, if you want, we can perform group for each and filter. These are the different operations we can perform. So go through this example, maybe you will get more uh, more practice. So for each, generate, filter by, eliminate. If you want to eliminate the duplicates, we can use the distinct keyword. We can use distinct. So, this, so you go through this material, we will have the brief description about how, what are the count and group, what we will do. So this, this material will help to practice more commands group all, order by, limit, limit also we can do it, top end records if you want, if you want to get only top end records, we need to order by descending and we need to limit uh, 10, then we will get the top end records, we will get the top end records. If you want to get the uh, top 10 records, uh, what are the pages, uh, visitor mostly, uh, most, uh, visited pages, top 10 pages if you want, I, I need to uh, descending order, I need to order by descending and I need to get, uh, use the limit for getting the top 10 pages. So if you want to give nester order, we will give nester uh, also, you can give it. So uh, like this we will have the different keywords, go through this material, I think you will get the uh, more uh, more idea about the each keyword, you will get the more idea. So instead of that, if you want to practice uh, more keywords, we can practice. Uh, I will give the those details. Go to official website, uh, pig, uh, apache .org. Uh reference manual, they will give the uh, description about the each keyword. We will have the, a lot of other keywords also, co-group, cross, Dixton filter for each. So we'll have the lot of uh, keywords. So if we go through these keywords, you'll get the uh, description and uh, different options also. They will give the neat description about the uh, each keyword. They will give the neat uh, examples also. will give description and neat example will give. So whatever the other commands, apart from what we discussed, if you want to get the details about the other commands, other keywords. So you can go through this one, describe, dump, explain and illustrate. You will get the uh, examples about the different things. So we, we already have the uh, predefined functions. So average, contact, uh, count, uh, difference, maximum, minimum, sum, tokenize if you want. So like this we will have the different keywords, uh, sorry different functions like this. Uh, uh, if you want to, instead of using the uh, predefined or already existing functions, if you want to write user-defined functions also, we can write in the uh, pig. So how we can write in the high, similar way we can write in the pig. So pig also will have the, we need to write the Java class and we need to create the jar file. Then we can uh, load that uh, jar file into uh, pig and we need to uh, create the function and we need to use that function. So I, I will show uh, how we can do, I will, I will show that flow, I will show. Okay, like this we can perform file commands also, HFS commands we can perform. So these are the different storage, store, uh, pick store, bin store, pick dump, text loader, these are the different store functions. So these are the uh, other uh, descriptions and so other uh, uh, other keywords and the other uh, pre added existing functions. So if you want more details you can go through this one.
pick, uh, you, uh, simply if you can go through Google and if you enter a uh, pick user guide, then you will go to this page, you will get this page. So here you can find the different keywords you can find. It. If you want, I will share uh, this keyword also, uh, this link also I will share it. This is how you can write the this one. So similarly, like how we need to extend one class evil function, and we need to implement one method execute. So after uh, once you, if you uh, write the class and if you create the jar files, you need to register that jar file like this, and we need to define the particular function, whatever the function we needed, we need to map to the particular class, and so we need to map the particular whatever the class is there we need to map and that my function we can use it in the this one so how we are using the count and sum in the pig uh, pig statement so similar way we can use our uh, user defined function we can use in the like this we can use so like this we can write the our own uh, write java class by extending the this method and by implementing the, uh, this execute method we need to whatever the logic we need to implement, we need to implement in the, this method, e execute, e e exec method, and then we need to compile and we need to package as a jar file, uh, and after that, uh, we need to register the jar file in the grunt cell, if we are going to run, so then we need to create the, whatever the method, uh, uh, whatever the function, if you want, we can write the function, and we can use it in the statement, pick statement, we can use this is the how if you want to write the user defined function you can write so this is how you can uh, use the UDF function so mostly these are the concepts will be there in pink so whatever the operations you want to do so uh, similar kind of uh, re related to that one will have the different uh, keywords will be there so will have the different keywords and if you want to write user defined functions we can write the user defined functions uh, these are the uh, uh, different concepts in the P. okay uh, uh, instead of the uh, if the data is in different format instead of space separated if you want to write the regular expressions we can write it regular expressions also you'll see how we can do this one so this is how we can, how we can write the regular expression in high. Similar way, uh, we can write the same regular expression. Uh, we can parse the uh, data by using, like this we can parse. So this is how we can load the data. So we can, uh, re regular expressions we can write like this. Generate and uh, from this regular expressions, we can get the different fields. So here, if you observe uh, this one, okay. uh, this is the example, what I am telling. So first we load the uh, data as a line. So each line, we will, uh, here I am not going to use uh, any big store. Simply I am going to uh, get the each line as a uh, one record. And from that record, I am going to by using these regular expressions, I am going to get the different fields. In some big, big store uh, space separated, I am going to get the data by using like this. Month, data, time, most, whatever the fields we want, we can get the data. So after we, you got the different fields, then we can uh, perform the, all the different operations, group by aggregate and order. Uh, we can perform limit operations, we can perform. So this is one way of uh, if, if you don't have the data in particular format like uh, space or comma separated, if you have the data in different uh, other formats, uh, we can get the uh, data. So in this uh, here, we will have the data like this. Input data will be like this. So from here, here uh, we can get the uh, data by using space separated. So if you these are the different fields. Month is the May date and the time and log message the full data so this is the full as a log message so if you want to get uh, by using space we won't get this data so for that one we need to use some other uh, passing technique so here we are using regular expression so by using uh, that 
regular expressions, we can get the data. Whatever data if you want, we can get and we can convert as a different fields. So once we uh, this all the things we can execute as a single uh, big script, we can execute all this uh, command. So I will share this also. You can practice this example also. You can practice. Okay, uh, this is uh, all about pig. So, how we can uh, uh, write the pig statement? How we can submit the pig statement in different ways through shell, through uh, pig script? How we can uh, execute? How it will convert as a job? And these are the what are the uh, we can perform different operations: uh, load, filter, group by, order by, and if you want, we can perform limit also. And if you want to display to the console, we will use the dump. If you want to store, we will use the store command. So likewise, if you want to see the information about the uh, schema, about each relation, we can use the describe, explain, or illustrate also, we can use. If you want to uh, perform any functions, we can write the uh, already predefined functions. If you want, we can use it like this substring or minimum, maximum, count, we can use it. If you want to write the user defined function, we can write the user defined function by using the uh, in Java uh, classes, we can write the user defined function and we can uh, load the jar file and we can create the our own define, our, our own functions, we can create. Okay, uh, go through these examples, I will share these examples and I will share uh, this material also. So go through this material and you will get uh, more, mm, you can practice. Uh, okay, this is all about pick. Uh, uh, to, uh, tomorrow we will continue this scope. Uh, thank you all.